And yep, we lost Tech of Ridley. Good job, Samus. Good job, buddy. I will say, even though it's been years since this game was released, it still looks so good. Like, okay, as soon as I say that, we go into this low poly grass. But, like, the models themselves are very well built. And some of the effects here look, still hold up. Like, the game, yes, it has its boss like this Judy tree over here, but for in general, the game looks fantastic, in my opinion. Like, Samus' ship looks beautiful, and so does Samus herself. Which, which, of course, you want Samus to look good. She's the protagonist. She's the main thing about the game. Still, I will say, drawing her armor for the thumbnail for this particular video was a pain in the ass. But yep, welcome to Talon 4. This will be our main hub world of the game. Now, little trick here. If you use your scan visor, scan that, and did a uh, side hop to the right right here, you will be able to get the space. The um, you will be able to jump up there and get the space boots early, which will allow you to do a double jump and do a lot of skipping in the GameCube original first release version. However, we can't do it in this version. I've tried it many times, and they removed it because this version is actually based on the European release of Metroid Prime. So instead, we will have to go through this the normal way. That is one of the very few speedrunning tricks that I know about the game. I would also be saying some call me Johnny for teaching me that one. And also, I would like to give a little shout out to the channel The Orpheon. Uh, if you want to be caught up in Metroid lore for when Metroid Prime uh, 4 is released, The Orpheon has you covered. That dude, not only does he have extremely high... Um, I forgot I don't have the morph ball. That guy, <laughs> for a channel that's just starting out, he has some really high production values with some really great artwork. So I really suggest you want to catch up in that knowledge, Go to the, to the Orpheon. I will put a link to his channel down in the description below. Okay. Thank you. Right, don't have to charge me. You think, once you get used to all those abilities, it's so hard to go back to not having them. Because you, you just, you're just so used to it. It's like, you, I feel naked. <laughs> I do like this piece here, like unlike Brinstar or other uh, themes for a first area in Metroid, this one is soothing and atmospheric but also has this triumphant sense just like Brinstar, just without the excessive energy. But yeah, Brim, you, actually let's go check that out real quick, not that. There we go. This is our log. We'll be able to see how our scans are going along with what our progress in obtaining items. To get the best ending possible, you'll need, to re you'll need to obtain every single item and scan every single plot important thing in the game. So yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> I'll be trying to do that. However, what I'll do mostly is that I'll, go, I'll scan as I go along and just like with Metroid Zero Mission, I'll do... Uh, a, 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 if I miss anything in the way, I'll do a marathon on my own to scan anything that I have my head missed, as far as items and for scans. As long as they're, you know, not the ones that are just like a one try thing. Because I know there's some in here. Actually one of them in particular was fixed from this version of the game, uh, from the GameCube version first release print to this one. Originally, a, a version of Metroid appeared on the snow area that was not supposed to appear until much later in the game. However, if you miss that enemy scan, that enemy was gone forever. So keep an eye out if you see an enemy to immediately scan it, because you never know when you're gonna get one of those that is just like those bullshit ones that you need to scan right there and then. Let's see here. So here we are in the Chozo Ruins, another planet where a good ancestors lived once in the past. So yeah, it's not the same, um, not the, the same Chozo tribe as the one that gave Samus her 
Reveria suit, but it is another Choso tribe that did foresee the coming of Samus. Now, whenever you see seismic activity uh, detected, that's usually a hint letting you know, hey, boss fight over here. But yeah, the Choso lore pretty much states that. Um, well, let's translate it here. The history of the Chosen stretches back into the ancient times, so far into the fog of the past that we know that we know not where our ancestors came from. One thing is clear, however. The Chosen who colonized Talon IV made conscientious choice to strew a civilization of advanced technology. We, the Chosen, chose to live the lives in harmony with nature, guided by the providence of the universe. We believe that we will spread, spend peaceful uh, we will spend peaceful days here and plan to leave our words from time to time. So pretty much to catch you up, because again, I won't be reading all the Choso lore. Or, or do you guys want me to do that? Leave me in the comments um, if you guys want me to read the Choso lore, or if you guys just want me to explain what happened. Until then, I will be reading whatever Choso lore I come across. Okay. Hello. You wanna get dizzy? <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much just spam that, uh, spam your targeting from one enemy to another. Or if your target, if you are using the lock on button, you cannot turn around unless you let it go. So, for example, right now, if when I go like this with the Wii mode, Sam starts turning around. However, when I'm locking on and she and I go like that, she doesn't. So you want to keep that in mind when you're trying to keep a, uh, an eye on the enemy. Seriously, it's so quiet, it's very unnerving. And also, you know, these things, if you touch them, they will hurt you a tiny bit, so keep that in mind. Hello? The way to, uh, these enemies over here, to stop them, you just shoot them, and they'll stop shooting at you. Well, at least for a bit, they'll, they will reactivate later. Okay, Choso lore. Many long years ago, have, many long years have passed since we Choso first took root in this land. The passage of time has always been a source of fascination to us. It is the belief that of many Choso sages that the truth of the universe hides within the tumbling currents of time's flow. Even as we search for answers there, however, we find illumination in other unexpected places. We know, we know not how the ability has come to us. But recently, many Chosen have begun to sense things beyond the realm of ordinary perception. Strange sights and inexplicable sensations flood our minds, filling us with visions. We take this growing ability to be a sign of our burden in harmonization with the infinite. Perhaps, finally, the universe secrets will become no known to us. So, are the Chosen scientific or magic? Or both? Because that was some magic sounding stuff right there. Oh, other enemy, you should probably scan that. Ow! Stop that. Actually, I know it's a safe room right here, so let's take it real quick. Oh, I should probably scan that as well. Yeah, I knew it. Alrighty then. So far, we're making progress. Uh, give me a quick second. Cut! Okay, and we're back. Sorry, I just need to put you a message real quick. Whoa! You were waiting to ambush me, you little fucker! Let's see here. Again, I've, I've played... I've, resta I've started and restarted this game many times simply for the sake of... of trying to beat it. With successful and unsuccessful results. Like, well, mostly unsuccessful, but this, this, the silence in this area is always creeps me out, dude. It's like, you don't know what's gonna happen, and there isn't much music in this particular section. It's, it's just these electronic noises, and you don't know what, what to expect. This area is somewhat guided, though. Because they, they, this is where you're going to be getting some of your first items. They do not want to do, you know, screw up and like, go to an area where you're not meant to go. Also, warning. 
you will want to... Ow. I was trying to say before little fucker over here knocked me. You will want to scan different versions of um, power-up pickups, such as uh, 10 health, 5 health, 30 health. You want to scan those as those particular items will have different amounts, uh, will have different logbook entries. Now what do we have there? It appears this item can only be reached by using the elevated bridge. Okay. Uh, those are my missiles, you give them back? Ya fiend! Okay, and here is our second boss. Not a very interesting one. Like, after Parasite Queen, this one is kinda shitty. This is the, um, the Hive Mecha. Pretty much, it'll throw these bees at you for you to defeat. And uh, after you kill them all, you just have to shoot it at uh, the center core and you'll be good. I always have a hard time hitting these, these bees though. Bees, wasps, whatever they are. I never, I can never get a good eyesight on them. However, while they're flying, you can take shots at them and that will hurt them. Like, they're not invulnerable while they're spinning around. However, good luck trying to hit them. Gotcha! Get fucked! Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked! There we go. Okay, at least killed one before he started moving, that's good. Oh, oh, no, no. Ah, shit. Also, then you know, that water down there is not water, that's acid. And right now we have no very acid to protect us. Ooh, I... Speak of the thing and it'll happen to you. Jesus. Damn it! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's calm down. Let's calm down. Okay. Okay. Ah, damn it. Okay, at least I got it. But still. Die, 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 die. There we go. Also, I think one of them dropped some health. I didn't notice. Oh, this one is the worst. It was so hard to tell which one's the one that's gonna stop. There he is. Whoa. Okay. I was surrounded on the other end as well. God. Fuck off. I'm not dying here. Oh yes. There we go. As long as you jump right when you see, when you hear the second scream, you shouldn't be hit. There we go. Okay, we're doing good progress. We're doing good progress. Just stop and let me kill you. There you go. Thank you. Right on cue. Oh, damn it! Speaking of you... Oh shit! I didn't notice! Shit! Ah, now I need to do it again! I thought there were more left! Die already. Shit. Oh boy. This game doesn't like me having things easily, does it? Which? There we go. Oh no. oh no, 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 Yeah, you ain't kill me yet, you bastards. Shit. 
shit, okay. There you go. back, baby. Unfortunately, you're gonna be five, but you know what? You need to start somewhere. Ah, uh, there is that music I love. Now, these are blast doors, as you we just scanned. Pretty much just shoot them with a missile. That's all you need to do. And hello, energy tank. I missed you, good buddy. Thank you. Let's see here, anything in here to scan? Well, I should probably scan this as well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these are the biggest versions of the missile refill that there are. Oh, and I can't transform into the Marvel yet, so I can't go there. Well, at least we're making progress. We got our missiles back and we got one energy tank.